Hello friends, this is the study of stuff, Mr. Mano. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I decided a couple days ago that I was going to do one. And here it is. Um, my video is going to be about being conscious and mindful of the moment. Now, I thought it'd be important to do this video because I've been kind of going through it myself, dealing with the subject, uh, trying to incorporate it in my life the philosophy of actually being mindful now it sounds a little cliche sometimes and, and you hear it all the time like you know be present power of now and all that stuff and all those titles of books and and and, and a lot of philosophies of past and present uh, ironically enough past present uh they always refer to this you know you have ancient traditions and uh, mindfulness in buddhism and and so on and so forth um, and then you have like modern authors like Eckhart Tolle and, 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 and Krishnamurti and all these cats talking about being present. Now, if we stop to really think about the importance of this, it actually uh, makes a lot of sense. We spend so much time in the past thinking of experiences and, and situations that have happened to us, which lead to us uh, repeating them. You know, like it, it leads to auto response. It leads to a lot of the complexes we have and fears of something that happened back then might happen again now. It scared me then. It'll scare me now. Or we spend all our time in the future. Good God, how am I going to pay that rent? Uh, oh, I can't wait till that person calls me. So on and so forth. Will I get that job? And rarely are we experiencing what's actually happening. And you know, when it happened, or is going to happen, the moment that it happened, or is going to be happening, is actually a present moment. When it's happening, or when it happened. Uh, so, wow, did you hear that? Presently, someone dropped something upstairs. Anyways, back on track. A lot of times, it keeps us from actually even being ourselves, who we really are. There again, man, all goes talking about know thyself. Um... What I mean by that is you base who you are on past experiences. You base yourself on things that have happened before and assume that that's exactly who you are. But if you just take a few minutes to give it a little bit of a breather between thoughts and actually be present um, and you know experience the moment using your five senses or other techniques to be present, you'll notice that basically things go quiet. The mind chatter, when it subsides and falls to the side, leaves a moment of clarity almost. Not almost, definitely. Um, and an easy way of illustrating that is uh, if you just take a few minutes and kind of let some thoughts go by and observe them, you know, close your eyes and kind of think of stuff, like or watch them flash by, thoughts, images, and so on and so forth. As you're observing these thoughts, Consider who's the one actually observing. And there Mano goes again talking about observer. Now, that's the true you observing your thoughts. Your thoughts and emotions are based on the past or the present. As they flash by, you're experiencing things in your memory that have happened or what may happen. And they get you excited or scared or sad or whatever. But the person actually observing them, the actual being that observes these thoughts, is disconnected, in a way, from the actual thought, the emotion that goes by. Now, once you consider that that's your true self, then you actually realize that the thought machine that's creating these, this chatter, chaka 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 chaka, just given it, isn't exactly you. That you have control over these these images, these thoughts, these emotions. So therefore you have control of, of yourself. And actually experimenting with that observer helps lead to who you may be hiding. Um, and yeah, I guess that's my video. Thanks guys and have yourself a great day.